Pedro, 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 where are you? Fuck that, Pedro. Come on, where the fuck are you? Pedro. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Oh, there you are. I fucking hate you, Pedro. You're the worst fucking banana I ever met. I bet you taste like fucking eight balls. Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at what's inside this box. This is an epic box. This is the way that Special Reserve Games sends their games. And I think this is one of the coolest boxes ever to send games in. If we open the box, what we see inside is the game My Friend Pedro. I love that when you open the box you get this friendly message from uh, Special Reserve Games. Thank you for the support. In the box we find the game My Friend Pedro. This is a super cool game that I haven't played that much. The cool thing about this game is that it was developed by just one guy, Victor Orgen of Dead Toast Entertainment. Uh, it was then released by Devolver and it's, as far as I know, it's sold millions. That's like a game that was developed by 10 people or 20 people. So hats off for Victor. Let's check out what's inside the box. This collector's box is super stylish. It's got a little window there where you see the, the number. This is number 2079 out of 5000 copies. So it's not a super limited edition, but it's still a limited edition. The collector's box is super stylish. The blood splatter is printed in a glossy red color. It's embossed so you, you feel it by the touch. Uh, the same thing goes for the logo type. It's, uh, you can easily feel it if you uh, touch it. And this, this part of the cover is a uh, matte, sort of like satin material. It's really, really nice. On the back you have the same thing with the blood here and here and the banana. So let's open this one and see what's inside. As usual I always open from the bottom of the, the box and that's because I don't want the, the creases. So let's just open this super carefully. This one was kind of difficult to open I think. There we go. I don't want to destroy it. I think I did a bit, but that's okay. So, inside this collector's box, we have the game. We have these lenticular cards. Uh, it says, some cards require tilt action for effect. I don't want to ruin these cards, so I'm, I'm kind of careful. I'm kind of nervous about this. Checking out the, the cards. Really, really, really cool cards. The next one. The next card is a really cool card. You have the movement here of this unnamed assassin ninja guy that's friend with Pedro 
And here we have Pedro. Pedro is, is really cool. I'm not sure if you can see him. This is basically just a, a, a 3D effect. It's no movement. I hope it's visible in the camera there. And then we have this one. This is the same, uh, it's a card with movement. Hope you can see it there. Here we have the unnamed assassin hanging in the wires, shooting up the place. Super cool. And then the last one is a 3D effect card. I think it's visible in the in the video. It's so cool. These are so 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 cool. I really really like these. Let's open this this one and see what's inside. Let's unwrap this one. The front of the case has got this super nice foil print. It's kind of like embossed gold print. And then you have the glossy Pedro banana here. Um, I think this looks super stylish. It's something you would definitely put in a display. Uh, on the back you have the banana also printed in um, a glossy kind of finish and at the bottom here you have the number of the, uh, the number of this copy. Inside the case we have a few things. We're gonna take a look at these but first let's just look at the, the inside of the case. Um, it's perfectly reversible if you want to do that since you have the, the spine print. Let's try it and see what that looks like. When you reverse the cover it looks like this. Kind of basic but still cool. I, I would guess this is Mr. Pedro the banana so this would, would mean that this whole cover is a part of a banana. This is the back side. I don't know who this guy is, but probably something to do with Pedro. Maybe this is smart Pedro when he's, he's reading. Um, and then we have the, the gold print spine here. My friend Pedro. I'm gonna put it back to how it was because I think that's a cooler cover. I enjoy that more. I have to be careful with this because I don't wanna crease it or destroy it. I put it back the way it was. Uh, that's super nice. Super 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 cool. I oh this looks so nice. What else do we get with this edition? We get this. Uh, I would guess this is a sticker sheet with two Pedro bananas and the unnamed assassin guy and the logo type. Kind of nice. Uh, I would you know, I would like if there were, was some more stickers, but I guess this is good enough. And the last thing is the instruction booklet. Same thing here. We have the glossy print, as you can see there. And the back side, you have the, the dog and the logotype to the, the special reserve logotype here. Very stylish. I usually don't read instruction booklets and manuals. I look in them one time, but I guess this is this is nice to have. I'd rather have like more of like an art booklet or art book, especially from this game since it's so stylish. But I guess you can't have everything. But uh, yeah, this is a very nice release. It's, I like that it's it's numbered. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, if I get something that's numbered, I feel that it's it's one out of a few or many. If it's not numbered, 
it's like it doesn't matter if it was a thousand printed in the edition or ten thousand or a hundred thousand and so I, I appreciate when you get certificates or a printed number somewhere especially like this when it's printed on the actual case that's that's super awesome so uh, yeah that was my friend Pedro or Pedro my friend Pedro I'm Swedish so I would say Pedro mean Ben Pedro in Swedish but my friend Pedro super cool game check it out um, you can check it out on the eShop or like I always say check out the auction sites if you wanna pick up this awesome box it's truly a work of art so this this goes into my collection and stays there forever before we go uh, I want to show you some gameplay from the game aesthetics the sound the music the controls everything about this game just screams quality straight into your face two fat big thumbs up to Victor Ågren for creating this super awesome game and two big thumbs up to Special Reserve for uh, doing this uh, super cool box. Thank you for watching and subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up or otherwise we will eat all the Pedros in the world.